Hi, my name is Karen Teo, and I'm launching a food commerce startup in Singapore. My hobby is reading about food. The first cookbook I ever picked up was the Cordon Bleu magazine series when I was 12. I cook using Japanese and French techniques, but use Southeast Asian flavors. My dinners are eight courses, with several starters, salads, soups, mains, palate cleanser, and of course desserts. I use my own recipes, but I start by researching other recipes in the library or on the internet. And then I go shopping. These are green mangoes. They're going to go in the beef tataki salad, but Thai style. Okay, thank you. These are lima puro limes, which are indispensable in Southeast Asian cooking. Thank you. So you only sell whole piece or half piece? Whole piece. Half piece, I want about one kilo. Lah. One okay, kilo. thank you. This is ripe but not overripe. The colour and the spines are soft. Welcome to the most important part where you actually see me cook. Follow me as I reduce everything there on the table into a series of delicious dishes. It's not the master chef apron, but it'll do for now. What I've done is I've transferred boiling water to a container, to another container, because the Japanese theory is that every time the water moves from one container to another, it loses 10 degrees. So from boiling, it's down to 80 degrees, which was fantastic for these onsen tamago, which will go for approximately eight and a half minutes. So how to tell that it's barely done? There's a bit of wobble in the spin. Roll up the salmon, so it looks like a rose. This is the simplest possible sauce to make. It's layu, chili infused Japanese sesame oil. And then after that, you add Japanese seven spice powder, which is a blend of peppers and sesame. And then after that, you add uh, mayonnaise. So nothing could be simpler, just mix everything up. And then you add soup base, uh, suyu, or you can make your own using dashi stock. And then what you want to do at this point is slowly, very slowly incorporate it in. Just stirring all the time. What happens is, because mayonnaise is an emulsion of oil, it will incorporate all the spices, and at the same time, uh, integrate it beautifully with the soup base, which is liquid. It's finger licking good. You want lots of little bits so you can let the delicious sauce seep into every crevice. For a touch of luxury and richness, I'm now adding tobiko, which is Japanese flying fish roll. Bonito flakes for umami. Now, I call this husband tofu because the first time I made this for my husband, he thought to himself, I'm marrying this girl. Of course, I only found out uh, a long time after we'd gotten together and this, you know, the end time I'd made the dish. Now I'm making the dipping sauce for, for the Thai beef salad earlier. You can mince it, but I prefer to actually have it finely sliced up so that people can pick it up and eat with their beef as a relish. That's fish sauce, the soy sauce of Indochina. I'm pan frying it. You can do it a number of ways. You can torch it, sous vide it, uh, but I'm just searing it right now. You can really smell the caramelization. So this is the flank steak, and you, as you can see, it's a perfect medium rare. I'm going to cut it Western style across the grain so it's lovely and tender, but still enough bite. So it's simple and delicious uh, with a mango and green papaya salad underneath. What I'm going to do is I've got very finely sliced pineapple. I'm going to blow torch it to caramelize it. And also like roast to bring out the sweetness in the pineapple. So you get a bit of char, you get the millet reaction, you get caramel, it's magic. And these are done. Mmm.